Hey guys, welcome back to Bad About Skin. In today's video, I am so unbelievably excited because I get to share with you an awesome new sunscreen discovery that honestly has really helped to transform my skincare routine, particularly in these super warm summer months. I know the terms holy grail, game changer, are overused a lot in the skincare community, and I've certainly been guilty of that in the past, but I definitely think there's a space for sharing new sunscreen innovation and celebrating some of the newer additions to the market that I think could transform our approach to sun protection and the level of enjoyment that we get out of these products. Today I want to talk about this. This is the non-buzzing Pure Fault Calming Water Sunscreen. I first tried this two months ago and it was a revelation. I can hands down tell you that this is the most impossibly lightweight sunscreen you will ever find and ever apply to your skin. In the super warm summer months here in the UK, this could be my new sunscreen holy grail and really help to get that locked in sun protection without making you feel like you're sweating through a mask. I wanna to talk to you about this product, why I think it's so amazing and all of that in today's video. So sit back, relax, and let's talk the most lightweight sunscreen. Now, before we get into this video, I know what a lot of you are thinking, so let's just clear this off straight up. No, this isn't a sponsored video, I, I know. You know, when you see people fangirl about a product, automatically our minds go to, have they been paid to say this? Absolutely not. I don't do sponsorships here on Mad About Skin. I think that helps me to retain my independence and means I can try whatever products I decide to try as part of filming content here on the channel without being directed to by brands. Now, there's no shade to those content creators that do do paid partnerships and affiliations. That's each down to the individual but for me, it's just not right for this channel. If you enjoy this style of content, you know, sponsorship and ad free, let me know by reaching down and giving this video a big thumbs up and a like. This honestly is the best way of supporting me as a content creator because the more likes the video gets, the more widely YouTube will distribute it as platform. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you all so, so much. Now, without further ado, let's cut that waffle and delve straight on in. So I first bought this product around two months ago. It was released in March, so I was a little bit behind the curve with that, and I saw a lot of people fangirling about it online, and the fear of missing out kind of built in me, and I thought, okay, let's just put it through its paces, splurge on it, and see exactly what the hype's about. I paid £14 for this. I, I bought it from Style Varna. I'll leave a link to that in the description box below if you did want to check it out. Um, and I used a code and got 10% off, which is also there. So I paid £14 for this. I think originally it was like £15 49 something like that which I don't think is a bad price for 50 ml of product when it is truly this lightweight. In this video I'm going to talk about the product itself I'm then going to come on to how I apply it and do an application on my skin so you can see it in action then finally I'm going to talk about how I use this alongside some other sunscreens to really get maximum benefit. If you want to jump to one section of the video over the next be my guest the timestamps are in the description box too. So this product has a SPF value of 50 plus it's also got a PA rating of plus 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 Plus. Both of these are the highest that you can actually get here in the UK. And rather than just putting the numbers on the bottle, Numbuzzin actually went the next step further with transparency and actually released their testing, which is on the screen now. So this shows that you are absolutely under independent testing, getting that SPF of 50 plus, which I always like, rather than taking the brand's word for it, I like to see an independent test to go alongside that. Um, and also love the fact that the PA rating, which indicates the level of UVA protection you're getting, is 21. That's pretty high, particularly for Korean sunscreen brands. You can get higher on the market. However, the more UVA protection you get, generally the thicker the product is and the more greasy it feels. So I think something in the region of 20 to 25 in terms of the PPD rating is perfect. Sky high protection, but can still retain that super elegant and lightweight feel. And yeah, that's indicated by the PA rating on the bottle. So as I said, you get 50 mil of product. And I think this is special for a number of ways. When you see the application, you'll understand just what I mean when I say truly the most lightweight sunscreen I've ever found. But the ingredients in here are really great. All new generation filters. I'll leave a link to this product on the Inky Decoder website, again in the description box. So if you want to like completely nerd out and see about every single ingredient in here, you can, and it breaks it down as to what each one does. But newer generation filters, which is why this is so impossibly lightweight, and this means that you won't be able to buy it in physical stores in the US, which have yet to approve these filters. But everywhere else in the world where they sell Korean skincare, you can. Um, but in the US, you can absolutely order it online and then have it imported into um, the US and that's the best way of getting your hands on it. 
So in here though, it's got a really nice blend. 49% of the ingredients in here are just designed to calm and soothe the skin. And they also put it through some testing, which I found online to show you just how effective that is. So again, I'll leave like a before and after um, of this study on the screen so you can see that using this product on one side of the face versus the other actually showed there was a four degree difference in terms of the heat on the skin. This is pretty good. So if you're in the summer, you're sweating, you're hot, you feel like, oh my God, I'm just never going to cool down. That four degrees difference in the skin caused by this product will definitely, definitely have a big impact and can definitely help with some skin conditions which are triggered by increases in heat. So it's definitely calming and soothing. It's got all those ingredients that you'd expect of a Korean skincare brand such as Centella, which is just going to hydrate. And calm. I'd say from the product, you get a medium level of hydration. It's not enough to use as a moisturizer. And I'm going to come on to some other sunscreens that can do that later, but it's impossibly lightweight, which is great. And if you find it's not quite moisturizing enough for you, you could just put a moisturizer on top of it, beneath it. It really doesn't matter, but you can get that extra level of hydration that way. I don't think this will be hydrating enough on its own. So that's the one thing I will call out. When you look at the studies they've done into the cooling and the calming effect, that trusted and tested SPF and UVA protection, this is a really, really great product. And it almost gives like a little bit of a filter effect on the skin. I don't know how they've achieved that, but it definitely gives you like a guaranteed good skin day, which I think means I should just shut up and apply it. So for this, I'll take off my glasses. Fresh out of the shower, I literally just threw a t-shirt on. My hair is still wet, um, and I'm gonna apply this. So let's apply it to one side of the face so you can actually see how this goes. It is, so, look at that, how lightweight that is. Because it's a chemical sunscreen, there is zero white cast, zero ashiness. Sorry if I'm not facing you guys, I'm looking in the monitor as I apply this, because this will actually be my sunscreen application today. Um, and you can see how it goes on the skin just beautifully. Um, I don't have a beard or any facial hair, but I got one of my friends to test it out. And again, it doesn't leave sort of like that chalkiness in the beard area if you do have any facial hair, but it just glides straight on. And look, look how that is. It just, it's invisible. I think you get a slight amount of dewiness, just a touch of glow up, and yeah, truly, truly invisible when you compare this side to this side. And underneath this, I've got nothing on the skin at all. Um, I applied just a little bit of the Mad About Skin Serum um, just to keep the skin hydrated, and then I put this on top. So you can see no pilling, no balling. It just, yeah, it just feels like your skin. It's so, so good. I'll do a little close up on the hand so you can actually see. I like the pinpoint applicator as well. I think that does mean it's really easy to get a precise application. But yeah, you see how that just goes in? Yes. It is magic. And you can see it almost takes down some of the redness. It can just, oh yes, everything about this. When I first tried it, I was like, done. I am sold. Um, who do I think it's going to be most applicable for? I think if you're living in a super hot, humid climate, if you have those super warm summer months like we do here in the UK, um, or you have really, really oily, acne prone skin and you want something lightweight, this I think could be your hero product. If you're looking for a sunscreen that's going to be more moisturizing, then maybe this won't tick all of your boxes. So in this section of the video, I just want to come on to how I use this alongside some of my other sunscreen favorites. I have three that I have on rotation. Skin 1004 High Loose Seeker Sunscreen, this one by Numbuzzin, and my own sunscreen, which is the Mad About Skin Protect and Hydrate. So how I tend to use them is I use the Mad About Skin Sunscreen every single day when I need a little extra moisture. Because this is packed full of moisturizing agents and humectants, it acts as a moisturizer and a sunscreen all in one, but still giving you that level of SPF 50 plus coverage. I also use this as much as possible because it has a slightly higher UVA um, protection level than this. We said this had 21 on the PPD score. This one has a 23.5. So there is a little bit of a difference there, but still super lightweight. However, I, even though I created this product and I'm so, so proud of it and use it day in, day out, when it gets ridiculously warm and I feel like I just almost want to avoid the sunscreens because I know how much they weigh me down, I go for this for the additional cooling. As you can see, it takes down some of the redness, it just gives you that glow up. It works so, so well. And I save this for, like I say, the super warm summer months. In terms of the price differential, um, this one, $14.99, this one, around $14.99, it's the same price, but you get 100 mil here versus 50 mil here. So if you're thinking in terms of the price per mil, there is a significant difference. So on those days where I want the hydration, I want that guaranteed SPF protection, a little extra UVA, I'll use my own product. On the days where I just need it to feel like I've got nothing on the skin, and I really need that cooling, I'll reach for this. 
hopefully in this video I should just how amazing it is and you can see it on the skin. I'll do a quick side by side comparison so you can see it um, with the Mad About Skin one. This is a new bottle so I just need to pump it up. Um, so you can see how that goes on. Um, it has a very similar texture. Um, sorry, I'm left-handed, so I do it all a bit. <laughs> I do it all a bit the wrong way around. Um, so let's just pop that on. So you can see it has so much more hydrating and plumping, but it's not as lightweight as this. So you kind of have to weigh up exactly what you want in your sunscreens. And that's why I think it's always good to have two on hand. So you can really mix and match depending on exactly what your skin needs on this day. Um, as you can see, this, I think, slightly more cooling. You get slightly more juiciness and you certainly get more plumping on this side. So you can see that side side by side comparison. I would love to know. I would love to know what your thoughts are on this. I know when I mentioned it in a video a couple of weeks ago, so many of you guys said, I bought it, I've tried it. Wow, <laughs> like wow. Um, and I definitely think it's gonna be one of those sunscreens that I have in my skincare collection for the foreseeable future. It's beautiful, it's impo I mean, it is literally impossibly lightweight. I, I can't even feel I have something on the skin. And so for those days where that is absolutely needed, this non-buzzing one will be my go-to. On the days where I want a little extra hydration, I want a little extra plumping, and I want just a little extra dewiness, I'll continue to reach for the Matter About Skin one, and I'll mix and match depending on what my skin needs. Can you, be honest, and shout out in the comment section below, can you see the difference? Obviously we've got the same lighting here. Can you see the difference when I talk about some are more calming and soothing, some are more plumping and dew enhancing, some are more moisturizing? Can you actually, can you see the difference? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below. But yeah, I just wanted to take today's video just to fangirl about a product that I think genuinely could be a game changer. If you've got oily, acne prone skin and you avoid sunscreen because of that, promise me you'll give this a go. Don't forget your sunscreen. Give this a go. It'll transform your views on it. If you're living in a super hot, humid climate, try it out. You won't be disappointed. Wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, stay well, and love your skin. Take care. Bye.